Hello, I live in Florida, and as you know, we just got done with a big hurricane down here. And so, um, all of us, or a lot of us in Florida have golf carts. So I thought about uh, using the batteries in the golf cart as an energy source. And these uh, golf carts, you have, um, my golf cart is a 48 volt, it's got six 8 volt batteries in it. So what I did was, uh, I wired all of these, jumped across the two last batteries, so I got 48 volts. And then uh, I bought, off the internet, I bought me a inverter, and I bought a 48 volt inverter. It converts 48 volts to uh, 110. So I'll turn it on, and there it says, you can see on the, on the deal there, it's got 56 volts on my battery off the battery uh, in the golf cart and then 121 volts at the output. It's got two electrical outlets there here. So it's, it actually delivers about the same power as a regular, regular electrical outlet in the uh, house. It's uh, rated at 15 amps or 1500 watts. And I plugged in a good old DeWalt drill and uh, It's got plenty of power to run a, a drill, and it will run your refrigerator, fans, TV sets, uh, everything except for your probably your stove, your dryer, and your central house air conditioning. And uh, the batteries in your cart are, uh, we well, have basically a 48 volt battery with uh, 165 amp hour capacity. So it will run, say you'll run your refrigerator probably three or four days and uh, run your coffee maker, run fans, run your TV set. And one thing that's advantage of this over a, over a uh, uh, generator is that it puts out a pure sine wave. In other words, the electrical outlet on this thing puts out a, a real clean 60 cycle wave that'll not hurt your TV set or any of your elect electronic equipment that you want. Plus the thing doesn't emit any uh, carbon dioxide we, or more carbon monoxide. We've had six people in Florida die because of uh, carbon monoxide inhalation due to running their generators inside the house. So at any rate, um, for you folks that's got a golf cart, uh, this is, I think, a pretty neat outfit, and I plan on maybe mounting this inverter on the wall in the in my golf cart uh, garage, and then maybe running a wire through the wall so that I don't have to run the the wire through the crack of the door or window to get inside. So, like I say, it should it'll run up a, uh, a full size refrigerator probably three or four days uh, probably run a coffee pot and a uh, stove eye uh, probably six or seven hours continuous running so uh, it I mean if you if the power is only going to be off a day or two which in most cases I would think that would be typical uh, this thing should be a pretty good idea so hope that uh, gives you something to think about, and I'll talk to you later.